Diane, <laughs> how long have you been here? I came through the library a second ago. You scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I came to... You came to... Sorry, uh, I... I came to see how you were doing with the jar. There's something about it. It's as if... You know when you can't think of wood, and it feels like it's on the tip of your tongue? This jar makes me feel like there's, there's an idea that's just out of reach of my brain. Hmm. Well... I brought you the journal. I read through it, too. I, I found some pages at the end that were stuck together. It has some rough sketches of the jar. Well, maybe not the jar, but something like it. It has the same rim on the bottom, and it seems proportionate. See? Hmm. Maybe, maybe an early model? Now this is interesting. What is that? It's a fractal, but see up here? It's about how to impress a fractal onto a material called cantonium. That must be what the jar is made of. Here, let me show you this. Do you see this strange pattern of depressions and protrusions around the rim of the jar? No. Let me put in the light. Okay, so right where the spiral seal for a normal jar would be, this jar has a ridiculously intricate fractal. I can't for the life of me figure out how a lid would be made to seal onto this, or how this was even made. Fractals are infinite. So what I've been trying to um, is... What? Uh, should I know what a fractal is? <laughs> uh, someone wasn't paying attention in Ivy math. Okay, so how... Okay. A theoretical fractal is a geometric pattern that you can magnify forever, and the pattern just keeps repeating, 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 and it scales down and down and down. Think about the veins of a leaf, or the little thingies on a pine cone, or blood vessels, or- Or the frost. Exact- wait, what? Are you sure? Yes. The pattern in the book looks just like the frost. I thought that's what the sketch was of. Oh my, this is- <laughs> oh, this is absolutely incredible. I wish I could study this thing. Hyper is so lucky. <laughs> lucky? I don't think I'd call him lucky. He didn't even have the chance to send that letter. Diane, this is a mathematical and scientific monolith. The implications are unbelievable. This is the kind of thing some people dream about studying, spending their lives on. It's just... The kind of thing you skip business leadership for. This changes our plans. If the frost is a fractal, that means that we can follow the repetitions back to the origin. Like a map. We need to pull it out at the root. We can't stop it any other way. Ugh, oh, I wish Gwen were here. She could make us a map. Did you talk to her last night? She told me she couldn't find Hazel and said she was going to bed early. Right. It's whatever. I need to read some of these notes to figure out how to make a lid for this. I can't talk. Alright. See you later, Reg. Bye. I knew you'd be here. Oh, damn, it's cold. How do I apologize? Diane hates me. Reggie hates me. Can you pity me? Why would I pity you? Why else would you be out here? Because I know you wouldn't do what you did for no reason. I just want to know why. I did it because I wanted to stop this from happening! Stop what from happening, you psycho? I knew that you'd all see how useless I am and you'd leave me behind and I'd lose you! What? Hazel, what are you talking about? I didn't want you all to have something to do without me. I knew you'd all get closer and I'd get left behind. I just want you to need me. Hazel. Hazel, I don't need anybody. You're my friend because I like you and I want to spend time with you. Isn't that better than me needing you? Want goes away. So does need. So that's why you build trust. I don't think I'm very good at trust. <laughs> You're terrible at trust, Hazel. And that's okay. You can learn something once you decide you want to. I don't understand how anyone can do it. I feel so small. I drive everyone away. I, I trust you, Hazel. <laughs> Shit, you shouldn't. I know that you don't want to hurt me. I know that you want to get better, and that's why I trust you. But how do I know that you don't want to hurt me? <laughs> Hazel, I'm out here freezing my ass off for you. You know how much I hate the cold? Well, I like you more than I hate the cold. I don't want to hurt you. 
I, I want. I know what you want, Gwen. My parents don't think it's right. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess that wouldn't really help with trust issues, huh? Gwen, I. Shit. I like you. I don't. I'm not brave like you are. <laughs> I'm not brave. I'm just really stupid. Stupid is good sometimes. Like when? Like now. <laughs> wow. Stupid and a bad kisser. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you almost pushed me off the bench, Gwen! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> will you come back, Hazel? Yeah, I will. Steal. I can do steal. Alright, now... Um, well... Reggie? I can see the frost. It's kind of cool looking. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude! <laughs> You're an alien! How are you okay with this? It's convenient timing, what can I say? Oh, Reg, only you. Are you gonna come help us, or are you busy eloping with Hazel? Nah, I already finished that. Where are you? I'm in the edit room. I'll meet you in the library. I have a lot to catch you up on. Just need to finish a few things. Cool, see you there. Hi. Are you good? I can see the frost. Now that I can see the orientation, I can 3D print the lid. It's okay though, it's useful. I guess it is useful, but it doesn't have to be okay. Good, because it isn't. It feels like my whole life got ripped away from me, and I don't feel like myself anymore. I never was myself. Now, I guess I won't ever be. You're still funny and awkward and kind and so smart. You can keep fighting to get it back, Reg. We both can. You can't tell me that, Diane. You yourself know this isn't a normal loss. How can you tell me to bounce back? Reggie, I know that your dad wants you to go into business, but sometimes you need to pursue your passion. I think you're one of those cases, Reg. This is absolutely incredible. You have to go. I have to work. Okay. See you later, Reggie. I'm back! <laughs> it's about time. And Hazel. Nice. Reggie, Diane, I'm sorry for lying. I was afraid of what would happen if you guys realized you didn't need me. I... Get that. I forgive you. I don't, but guess I'm stuck with you. Get over here so we can tell you what the game plan is. I can live with that. At least I know where we stand. <laughs> What's your plan, Reggie? <laughs> to capture the Frost. Reggie made a containment unit. What? What? I didn't make it. I just used the information I had. Just take the credit. No, like, I seriously just made a lid for this jar. Not a big deal. Anyway, Diane and I also figured out that the frost expands in a fractal pattern. And a fractal is... It's a geometric pattern that keeps repeating forever as you zoom in. It just keeps scaling down. Think about how frost forms. So... We can follow it back to the center like a map. Right. Do you have a map yet? Yes, Diane made one. The plant core is under the school. We can access it through the elevator shaft. <laughs> Whoa. This is some secret agent it's shit. It's also kind of sketchy. Diane. Are you okay with this? Diane? Diane? It's... whatever. Hey, we're talking about rappelling down an elevator shaft. Wake up! I said it's whatever. Diane, snap out of it! I... I'm, I'm so tired. I... Whoa. I was afraid this would happen. She's zoning out more and more. You too, Gwen, since you lost your passion. Wait, I've been what? What's going on? Are you guys okay? Funny that you care now. None of us are fine. If we don't trap this thing, Gwen and I are going to end up as spacey as Diane. After that, I don't know what happens. This is gonna happen to us? How are you okay with this? I'm not. That's why I have this plan. Well, tell us. Okay, everyone needs to tell their yeah. parents that they have plans after school tomorrow and won't be home until late, which is fine because it will be Friday. 
Gwen, you and I have the same fourth period, so we'll hide in the closet there. Diane and Hazel both have classes in the English wing at Hopstairs Hall. You should be able to hide in the supply closet. We wait until the janitors leave. Hazel, Diane, you need to call the elevator shaft at the top floor and then meet Gwen and I in the basement. We will rappel down the shaft with rope, which I'll get from the auto shop, and we'll find the core and trap the plant. And that will save you guys? The journal implied that once the frost was trapped, everyone would be restored. Hopefully Typher is right. I can't believe we're doing this based on a hope. This is our best bet. Are you guys in? Yes. 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 I'll do it. All right, let's get to class. Okay. One. Never thought I'd be spending the night at school. My parents think about Hazel's house. My parents think I'm at my friend Eric's. While well, we're in here, Reggie, I uh, I have some stuff to get off my chest. Uh, okay. I know that I can be pretty confusing when it comes to how I feel. Like, I don't like to talk about how I feel with people, period. But outside with Hazel, I realized that I'm doing more harm to myself than good when I don't communicate. Good thing to learn. I, um, I told Hazel how I feel about her. She feels the same way. She just needs some time. That's fantastic for you. Reg, I want to tell you how I feel about you too. I would tackle a bear for you. You're my best friend. I just can't feel the, about you the same way you feel about me. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm kind of a lesbian. No. You know what? I don't get how you do it. How you go after whatever you want and how it always works out for you. I was trying to protect you, but... <laughs> but I don't need to be protected. I especially don't need it when it prevents me from being myself. I don't know. How do you reconcile that? I want what's best for you, Gwen. How are you not afraid of disappointing people? The people who are disappointed by me being myself and achieving what I want are not worth it. But... Think about it. If someone would rather me be miserable... Sorry. Think about it. If someone would rather me be miserable than pursue what I want, do they really love me? You're right. Of course I'm right. I'm always right. It's Hazel. She says they're stuck in the closet and the frost is creeping in under the door. Oh my god, it's going after them? Gwen, that means it's freaking sentient. This- Reggie, our friends are kind of screwed upstairs. We need to go get them out before they get skewered. Right, let's hope we don't get caught. Here's to hoping. Get out! Damn. It's hard to not touch something you can't see. How close is it now? It's so loud. I can't hear anything. Diane, I don't know if you can hear me right now, but I promise I'm going to save you. I'm going to make it up to you for letting you think you were going crazy for a week and for making you do things you didn't want to do. I know I've made mistakes, but I really care about you and I don't want to lose you. I can't see how close it is, Diane. I'm afraid. Maybe. But we all failed you. You didn't really have a fair shot. I, I swear, this isn't it. I swear we'll get your passion back. Damn, you should be able to rely on me. Damn, I'll fix this. Are you okay? I'm okay. Diane isn't. We're breaking the lock. Stand back. We're already against the wall. All right, let's hope the cleaning staff is gone. This is going to be loud. Uh, uh, guys, people are coming. Hazel can't get out without touching the frost. Screw it. It doesn't matter. Help me get Diane. Let's get her on her feet. It's okay, Diane. Just follow me. I got you. Gwen, get the elevator. Open the elevator. I'll have to hide Diane in the edit room. We can't just leave her! We have to. It'll be alright. Help me, Hazel! We can fit! Stop! I'll tie the rope. Uh, actually, I... Whoa. Holy crap. How are the crystals so huge? I thought the 
frost is just frost. This is more like full on crystals. Do you think this can hold our weight or do you think crumble like normal frost? Solid. Let's go. Hazel, wait! Are you crazy? You haven't tested its strength or anything. I just did. Come on, and bring the crowbar. Oh. Where do we go now? Let's try through here. We can carve our way through with the crowbar. Gwen? You okay? Gwen? Gwen, snap out of it. Uh, uh, <coughs> oh. This is so It's so distracting. You take it. If I stop, leave me behind. No! We can't! Hazel! I trust you. Leave me behind. Let's go. Gwen! Hazel, we have to move. But... The best thing you can do for her is to keep going. Then I will. This is it. You ready? Smash it. Is this? Cool. It actually exists. Huh. We need to find the core. Not a problem. You hear that? Follow the song. That'll lead us to the core. There! I can see it! Straight ahead! Oh my god! Down there! It's Mr. Typher! Is he dead? No, he has a pulse. Barely. We can't have eaten or drank anything in weeks. How are we gonna get into the core? It's so thick. Give me the crowbar. It's going back, Hazel. Ah, it's so loud. Give me the jar. Ah, spikes. The jar, no. Grab it. It's defending itself. Got it. Ah! Hazel, are you all right? I'm fine. The crowbar seems to work on the spikes too. We need to break through the core now. What if you get stabbed by the spikes, or consumed? I know you'll find a way to save me! I trust you! Uh, I was wrong about you, Hazel. I'm sorry. Here goes nothing! Let go of me! Let go of me! Ah! No! It's all gone. Just like that. Not a trace. You did it, Hazel! I did it. <sighs> I'm sorry for hurting you. Don't. It's okay now. <coughs> Sir! Sir, are you okay? Absolutely not. What happened? Did they get it? Um, did who get what? The alien! Did they get the alien? No, sir. It's here. You contained it? Yeah. How, how, how did sir, you... I hate to ruin the moment, but are you able to walk? We kind of need to get out of here before the police find us. What? Well, this? Thank you. We did it for our friends, sir. Shazbot. I guess this is why you don't try to trap sentient alien life in a prototype. Gwen! <laughs> I'm alive! We did it, Gwen! Thank you for trusting me. We have to go. Lead the way, Regibald. How do you know my name? I know all. Now seriously, move it. All right. Now, does anyone remember how to fly? We didn't get the rope. Good thing, too, or I wouldn't have been able to save you. Diane, I'm so glad you're okay. Are the police here yet? Now they are. Climb up. Quick. 
out this way. The security cameras don't cover this hall. Okay, okay. I, I'm assuming <laughs> they took my car? Yep. Those pontificating blowhards. <laughs> oh, it's good to have you back, sir. You never gave me your assignment on Mozart, Gwenophone. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. <laughs> I'll get that to you ASAP, sir. <laughs> Do you kiddos have a way home? Um, my car's at Pizza Hut. I was trying to be inconspicuous. Ladies and gentlemen, you did a great thing today. And I will have to live with wondering how, because this is where we part ways. What? Sir! I have to go. This was always the plan, and I'm just running a little late. You kids won't tell anyone about this, right? Absolutely not. No one would believe us anyways. All right, oh, just one question. How did you figure out it was me? We found this letter. Your journal is in Gwen's car. And they got the rest? Yeah, they towed your car. Oh well, my old pals will steal that away soon anyways. It's enough that they don't have that letter or Repton's prune itself. Here, sir. Will you be okay? Of course I will. Don't worry. Now you kids go live your lives and try to forget about this whole mess. Fat chance. <laughs> I'll be off. Wait, sir. Before you go, right before I trapped it, it said, it said it was alone. Yeah, I guess it would say that. But why, sir? Well, it's much like a plant. Plants need to be watered, and my love for studying and researching it was its version of water. We became, well, friends. I just didn't realize it. Once it started getting out of control, I knew I had to get rid of it. I think it took that as a betrayal. And so it caused all of this fuss and went to look for other people who could care for it. But none of their passions were quite right for it. And thus, it grew all big and spiny. You probably have a sore stomach, don't you, plant? She's blooming. Fascinating. Shaspa, I gotta go, kids. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for being a great teacher, Mr. Tafer. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good luck.